What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the time that we went to the number one ramen restaurant in Osaka. The place is called Jindui Minamendui. It's located a little north of the heart of Osaka city. If you take a look at the ramen database, it's like a really neat website, maybe I'll we'll talk about it in a different video. Basically it's kind of like an encyclopedia of ramen. You could go to the search and then specify the prefecture and then it'll give you a list of like the ranking of ramen in that area. When you type in Osaka, then you'll find Jindui Minamendui at the top. Now you might be thinking, no, what the hell does that even mean? Well, you might be surprised. Yeah, that's... that's more or less what it means. By the way, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll also find Ramen Kiriman, which is also a place that we reviewed and made a video of, so uh, make sure you check that out. I knew this place to always have a line, so I was really, really excited to come here that day. When we were welcomed into the store, we were seated right in front of a tank. And you never get that at a ramen store, but that wasn't it. They had live fish in there too. Don't worry, I'm like 10% sure they don't use it in their ramen bowls. Here's the menu for Jindui Minamendui. We ordered the top three bowls, and here's a translation of their descriptions. Feel free to pause, take a quick read, but also, I get it, if you don't want to read, I got you. Without further ado, the ramen origin, micro, and the macro. The ramen micro was like an eye-opener. The shoyu's natural flavors, the acidity, and the sharpness just directly comes at you. The flavors of the shoyu are so powerful, they literally stain the noodles. The char siu was also great because it's so thick and lean, but you actually have the option to request a thinner slice of char siu with a seasoned egg instead. And that's what we did for the ramen origin. <laughs> The ramen origin is a great classic bowl. You know, when you want shoyu ramen, this is exactly what you're looking for. The shoyu is not too powerful, it's just right, it complements everything, and it doesn't overpower anything, and the noodles work perfectly with it. But the ramen macro though, that was the real MVP. The soy sauce flavors were toned down just a little bit to match the seafood flavors, but the clam base was really, really good with this. It was smooth, light, but the accent it gave was really, really strong. All three bowls were really amazing, but I think that ramen macro was a real game changer. If you're looking for a really good place to eat ramen in Osaka, I highly recommend this place. But also, try to get at least two bowls. It's, it's really good. Do expect to wait, but you definitely won't regret it. 10 out of 10. I'll add some more descriptions on locations and stuff below. 